Hi guys, welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. This time we are going to go through the re-release fan favourite of She-Ra, the most powerful woman in the universe. As you can see, it still comes in the same blister pack with the retro play pose and it's got the Princess of Power logo. This is like a little sticker thing on the front. And on the back, it's got the same card art as the first release where we've got She-Ra protects the Whispering Woods from all Etheria and the attack of the Hordak and the evil Horde as well. Again, you've got uh, Mosquito in the back, this funky little statue. And that little, like, hi there, hello guy. <laughs> Did you see me in this episode? Can't think of his name, but there he is there. And then you've got the little cross cells, so you can put the cape on, turn the crown round for the helmet, um, and then twist into powerful battle positions. Now, the re-releases, uh, I think it was Zodak, Merman. Well, no, it was definitely Triclops and Merman. I didn't, was Zodak a re-release? Not too sure. It must have been, otherwise it wouldn't probably be on this packaging. But anyway... There you go, that's the back side of it. So let's crack this open. Let's have a little closer look and also the differences from the first release of she -Ra as well. So she -Ra's comic comes with the Dimensional Doom. Not too sure if it was the same comic when it was first released. Um yeah, not too sure on that. But, yeah, Dimensional Doom. So, getting her out of the box, there is a few subtle differences. So, especially with the uh, paint applications on her face and the gauntlets, the actual colour of the gauntlets and boots and stuff. Um, but let's go through the articulation so she's got this flexible hair going on, it's not the real hair, but bobbles, head up and down, arms do a 360 and splays out, ball joint on the elbow, twist at the wrist, the waist does a 360, the legs splay out back and forth, the knees bent, twist at the top of the boot and a ball joint on the actual foot as well. And then she comes with all the same poppable type of features. So you've got the, the head, the arms, the hands, the waist, and also the boots as well. So I'll just pop. So, like I say, they're all poppable type of joints with the origins <clears throat> so I'm glad this was a re-release although I actually ended up did get the original she -Ra, I ended up getting it on the secondary market still at quite a good price but the first release of she -Ra was just way too yellow for me so with the uh, the gauntlets and the boots and stuff so just bringing it in here like, so you can just see some of the differences. So the new release has got that gold type of look on it. Also the, uh, the differences with the actual face paints. So I'll just zoom in a touch. So you can just see subtle differences. The eyes on the re-release look a little bit wider and a little bit more open. And also the hologram sticker on the crown and also the waistband. So the first release is a lot more, I'd say, large more glitter than the re-release. It's a lot more blended in. And it's the same thing round her waistband as well. So you can see like the large glitter effect compared to the re-release there. Now the gold textures where I'm like I'm saying this is more yellow 
on the gauntlets on the first release and the boots this is a lot more better like gold colour in it all and like I say it goes straight down to the boots as well so it says about the crown the crown is exactly the same where you can flip it over and it's got that little eyepiece thing going on so you can either have it one way one way or the other <laughs> so but also I quite like having the crown like so as well it's, it was never meant to be like that but I like the little the little winged halo look on it so the actual accessories so the first one is like that yellowish shield and the second one has got that gold on there it's still got the pearlized blue but it's a more deeper shade of blue so get a deeper shade of blue <laughs> and it's got the little handle thing on the side there so let's slide that one in that one like so and that one in there and then it comes with the same sword they are really quite diddy swords though you know so i think they should what should have been more on the the he-man scale rather than this tiny sword but again gold compared to the more yellow so yeah the fan favorite re-release the um I would say the other or the last type of difference that I can see is the actual cape so the cape on the new one is a lot more rich in red color it's kind enough the same type of material I think it's a little bit thicker but a lot more rich it doesn't flex or bend or curl over as much either I think it's the same thing with the actual the white netting as well so it's it's a lot more formed than the first one like this first one curls up quite a lot so I don't know whether that's just because of the time that I've had it or not but when I first got this it was all curly as well so but this one there's a lot more firmness in the netting of the actual um, outfit I did nearly forget to mention another obvious one is the actual knees so the first release has got that blocky type of kneecap on there where the newer release has got that new knees on it as well there So there you go, there's she rather fan favourite. Let me know your thoughts, drop us those comments in. Which one do you prefer? And have you actually got the two variations? There was obviously the third variation with the... Uh, the, the third variation, I believe, it was like the second run of the first wave where she had eyelashes, I think, painted in. A lot more eyelashes but then you've got the the comic con release with the real hair so i think this was the first original one the second one was the um more of an eyelash type of paint application on the face then it had the comic con one with the real hair and then this one with the more golden texture for the fourth release so yeah let me know which one have you got within the shiraz which one do you prefer um, while you're there dropping those comments do the usual with the like subscribe and tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others so you've got some little boxes of little playlists popping up there as well so you've got like the whole masters of the universe collection reviews that i've got i think another one will be maybe uh, the teenage turtles and this bottom one down here will be um what youtube 
things you may like to see as well. But yeah, thanks for checking in on this one. And I will see you on the next. Take care.